so Candy Crush is quite the addictive mobile game, but as I usually do, I analyzed it. I asked myself, just how many grams of sugar and how many calories are there in this game? I've done similar things in my Mario Kart theory and my Cut the Rope theory. I'd recommend you check them out, but the Mario Kart one has a lot of math. Although I do add a skip feature in the description of some of my videos, so just go to that time. Anyways moving on to this theory, there are six different main kinds of candy in the original levels. The blue sphere, the green square, the red bean, the orange oval, the purple gummy, and the yellow egg. So after lots of research, I found out how many calories and how many grams of sugar are each piece of each kind of candy in real life. I basically just guessed from the shape of each candy, the shine amount, and the color, what the real life equivalents were. The orange ones are jelly bean like substances, the red ones are just jelly beans, the blue ones are jawbreakers, the green ones are skittle type candies, the purple ones are jujubes, and the yellow ones are also skittle like. Now what I did was look at the average number of slots per level divided by the number of candy variations, which I previously said was 6. This gave me the number of each candy per level. I only counted the available slots for the candy, because if I counted all of the candy, it would be infinite. There are on average about 13.5 candies of each type per level. Multiplying that by each calorie count and sugar amount of each candy and then adding them all together says that each level in Candy Crush has 833.09 grams of sugar and 3891.78 calories. The creators of Candy Crush update the levels very frequently, but as of right now there are about 1385 original levels, not including the bonus ones. So the amount of sugar in Candy Crush is 1,153,829.65 grams. And the amount of calories in Candy Crush is 5,390,115.29 calories. That is so much. And all that sugar will surely make you sick. That is all I've got. When I'm not doing theoretical dimensional analyses or cracking the code of Coraline, I am doing this. I recommend my Coraline trilogy, as I explain the most complex story a stop-motion animation film has ever produced. Please like, comment and subscribe.